President Volodymyr Zelensky warns that the war in Ukraine could turn into a global war as Russia initiates conflicts in different parts of the world and will continue to do so until the US and China take measures to stop its aggression. Volodymyr Zelensky in an interview with The Sun emphasized that a full-scale war started by Russia in Ukraine could have far-reaching consequences and lead to a global conflict. In his statement, he noted that the bloody war in Israel was a kind of desire of Russia, which provided support and training for terrorist fighters. Zelensky emphasized that Russia and Iran are partners in this context. The president of Ukraine believes that Vladimir Putin is deliberately stoking the fires of conflicts in various parts of the world, which may get out of control if he is not stopped. Straight talk, China can put more pressure on Russia. I don't see China being interested in the Middle East like Russia and Iran. I don't think China is interested in helping Russia occupy Ukraine. Everything is not simple. Today, Ukraine is at the center of these global risks of the Third World War. And I really think that Russia will push until the United States and China together tell them very, very seriously to get out of the territory. Russia now does not feel that the whole world is against it. We really think that they are preparing now in the Balkans, they are taking new steps. And we think they are trying to train or even train some people. And I think they won't finish. The idea is to start one conflict, start new fires. I think the idea, of Russia, is to destabilize with new foci of fire. Details, Zelensky noted that Kiev is facing many problems now, including problems with support in the US Congress. He noted that the situation in the Middle East does not help Ukraine. Zelensky admitted that without Western aid, Ukraine will not be able to win because its own military and financial resources will not be enough to defend itself. However, the Ukrainian leader is convinced that if Russia defeats Ukraine, then NATO countries will follow. Direct speech, we are losing our people, not Europeans, Americans. I certainly don't want you to lose your soldiers. If they kill us, if they destroy us, they will occupy NATO countries very quickly, and after that you will withdraw your soldiers. If you don't transfer your soldiers to fight for NATO against Russia, then there will be no NATO.